Hey everyone! For the next two days we're going to be, or well, I'm going to be making or showing you how I made this insert. It's um, It started off as one video and then when I got to over an hour long I'm thinking no this this has got to be two videos because it's it is quite long not the making of it but the decorating of it so I've used the scraps as you can see it's um I'm going to use it as a journal insert so it will go inside my page that way and then that will be one bit and then the back bit will flip open like that it can be used as a trifold folio, so you'd open it that way, maybe with a pocket down the bottom and a little pocket there. Or you could use it as one of those clutch bags, I think they're, they're called, a paper version. And I've seen people do them with very fancy shaped fronts and all the rest of it. And maybe, I think they're glued together like that. I don't know. I've made mine as an insert, but it is the base to do whatever you like. So, end of part one ends a bit abruptly uh, because I had to take a phone call. Beginning of part two is, hey everyone! <laughs> so, I hope I've explained it. Right, without further ado, let's get into the making it. Hey everyone! Right, I have got so many scraps on my left over from all these bits that I've been doing that it's like right okay I was having a mooch friend and I came across a lady called G G G I G I G I G I I think I don't know sorry if I've got it wrong um she did a very simple uh fold out em it's she called it a fold out envelope to my mind it's like a, a trifold um folio type thing although I think it would make a superb insert so I'm sort of following what she did I will put a link below but I'm sort of taking it in my own direction as as I tend to do right I've got one of my normal sheets that I would use for a paper it is a thicker one I, I only use 120 gram GSM paper so a bit thicker than copier and I've got gel medium uh, the Liquitex gel medium because that's what I always use so I'm starting with with bits um, and then so it's just going to be a simple collage so I may or may not talk over this bit and we'll see how we get on
there we have one collage. I have tried to keep it relatively close to the edge. It means less trimming. Now I need to let that dry or dry it, one or the other. So we have, and here's one I did earlier because I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, so it's like, right, okay, let's try it. That has dried. Now, what I want to do on the back is I am going to do some, for the, this, for me, will be the inside. So, something I haven't done in a long time, because I'm not very good at it, decoupage. And then, Trying to get these things apart for me is not. Oops. Oh, come on. I know there should be an easy way of doing this, but blimey. Okay. These things are, are quite good to keep, these, the inside bits, especially the. This is three plus, so there's three layers of tissue but that that bit actually makes quite a nice muted background if that's what you're after so I had a choice of two so there was this one with the really bright colours which I love I love the bright colours or oh, there was this one these are the ones I've just picked up in our local pound shop and I was quite impressed with them. But that's a bit too, a bit too last week that one is. So what I want to do, I am going to be very lazy, I think, and put this down in a couple of parts. Right. So rather than individual bits. So I'll take the bits I like, so I really like that. So it's just a wet paintbrush over the top, roughly where you want it, and then hopefully it just pulls apart. Hey. So that's one. Although actually, we could do a combination of two, couldn't we? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, cheap tissues. Where are they? Is that? Is there another piece on top? I can't tell, because <laughs> that's really thin, and this isn't. Okay, I'm just tearing holes in tissues now. If I can get past that piece. Of course, this is the other way of taking your tissues apart. I'm convinced that that is two pieces. I can't, for the life of me, find an opening. Perhaps this is why I've never used them. Gotcha. Wow, that was incredibly awkward work. So for future reference, I'll take these apart before I actually get them on the camera. Wow, that's thin. Let's move that. 
and evidence that I got that bit horribly wrong. Ooh, that would just fit on the back. No, that's definitely not water. Let's make some space. Right, I am just going to go around the edge and take off a lot of the excess. I don't mind if bits of the paper... Actually, I'm thinking it might be quite nice with bits of the paper showing through underneath. Uh, let's just take this top piece off. Ah, paintbrush must be dry. There we go. Let's got that bit. I'm thinking quite lazy at the moment and thinking that this would make it would just be so much easier than stamping and blending and all the other stuff that I'd normally get up to. It may or may not work. Let's get rid of those bits. And then the bottom or top, whichever way around it works out to be. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can actually spread this out. I'm just actually, no, I am going to use carry on using this. I know I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I've just never been able to get. Probably because I. I make some fundamental mistake. I don't know. Right, let's. But then again, like the glue gun, I wasn't able to, uh, or I disliked using that, shall we say, before I start. I embarked on this adventure, and now it's like, oh, I can use it. Right, I'm thinking it went sort of. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Ooh, it's alive. Okay, let's let's do this in an organized fashion. Okay, we have creases galore, but that's because I've messed about trying to get it in the right place. I am going to go over this. Oh, the lady's lost the dog again. That thing, it's only a little thing. But it, <laughs> it's an escapologist. Okay, note to oneself, don't put fingers on. Now, I don't know if this piece is 100% necessary, it probably isn't. But I'm doing it because I want to um, gesso over the top of it. 
and I want to make sure it's sealed. And because this is matte gel, hopefully it won't be too... They do have a bit of a sheen to them, but hopefully it won't be too shiny. Right, I think I've got a good layer of... Uh, trying to squish down some of the obvious lines. Right, I'm going to leave that for a moment. I'm going to dry this and then I will be back. I'll speak to you in a moment. Right, I've left this a couple of hours. It's gone cold, as you can see. This has... It's all the dried. Right, I've decided that's going to be my outside because I like collage and flowers aren't really my thing. So, well they are. No, that's a lie. Shabby chic I found incredibly difficult to do because it's like, oh. So, just so I am going to. And I need a piece of paper. And a bit of water, I think, because that's just a bit too. I love the way it shows the wrinkles. I love that. Sometimes it has advantages not <laughs> getting it a hundred percent right. So I am making it much whiter, if you like, or much more faded on the outside and. I'm going to whoops sorry flip it round oh I do apologize for yesterday's um the fussy cutting one and it wasn't until I came to edit it that I realized that I'd actually missed most of the most of it off the bottom of the screen and it was like oh my life but I'm running out of time to actually get these videos done we've got a a lot of commitment coming up with fostering and I am genuinely trying to get through all the uh, all the videos I may or may not finish them I don't know I am I am trying Starting to look a lot more like I like it. This 100 day video has actually been really good in sort of focusing my brain on on what I do and what I don't like. So I would encourage everyone just to have a play, I think. Well, I, I'm liking that. Um, because it's muted it right down. Okay, I am going to quickly dry this side. It shouldn't take very long. So I'm back in a moment. Dry. Um, yeah, I couldn't decide then whether to put this on before I did the other side or not, but I think I will. So let's. Thank you. 
I love the way that this slides over gesso. It's brilliant. I've just got my wax paper underneath to try and turn. So, being lazy. So I don't need to wipe the work surface down. Uh, the, my baking mat. Let's get a bit of that off. I think. Let's just very gently. This is uh, just vintage photo that I'm using. Now the lady I watched, G Kerr, Jai Kerr, used um, coffee dyed paper, and I can see the advantages. But I haven't got any. It's not something I would use on a normal basis, so it was like, uh, meh, let's just, right, I'm just, because this is on gesso, it's, it will wipe off, if, like this end, I've got more too much on there. Let's just blend those bits in. Okay, I'm quite liking that. No, sorry, quick zap again. looking up there. That's better. Okay, so that will be my inside, although uh, I'm putting this wet on my sometimes. Oh, let's blend that bit in. So, being a bit more careful this time. I was thinking about it because I've been. I thought I'd just do a. As this week is almost like a basic week, I was looking at folios and I was. I've had about three attempts and I've sort of got to a point where I, I quite like the folio and then I saw this and so it's been like, oh, I'm going to give that one a go instead. I do like the way that that sort of highlights my mistakes. I quite like that. So if I just gently run it across the top, I'm hoping it's going to pick them up. And make it look perhaps more like aged paper. Rather than the 21st century napkin. Okay, right, inside looks a bit enough at the moment, it will be fine, I promise. Right, outside, same thing. Wet brush, I a piece of paper on. Just so. The papers I've chosen have all been much of a muchness, so quite sort of similar, similar tones, so that I can cover them and add colour to my heart's content. What I want to do is sort of hide them, but not, if that makes sense. So it's nice to know that there are the, 
papers underneath but not a bit more water I think on it but they're not too prominent so I hope I'm making sense Now I think what I'm going to do is leave the edges of this one as paper, as, um, as the original papers. So I'm sort of going up to the edge, but not quite. Try and blend them all in. I haven't got too much on the back. Right, I'm just going to dry this off again. And this bit, this is where your imagination can run wild. You can, I quite like it like this, I have to say. I am going to go around the edges a bit more carefully than I did last time, perhaps. Unfortunately, it still feels a little damp, mine does. Ideally, you'd leave this to dry for a while. Right, basic shape. Now then, as a page insert, I think I'm going to fold it. Well, yeah, as a page insert. I don't want it any wider than that's fine. And what does that one give me? Yep. So I've just folded it straight up the middle. And then. Where do I want this to go? Bear in mind, you, I don't want this fold anywhere near where I'm going to be putting the, my seams. Well, that seems to be a natural fold, so we will go there. Just try and level it up. Now oh, that's why it's a natural fold. I've got a piece of card on the side. Okay, well I can look with that. Right, now this is where it either becomes your envelope, which you open up like that, and you put various pockets in. Or for me, I think this is where it's going to become my page insert. Now let's see if my little trusty corner thingy will do its job. Oh, 
Um, no, it's definitely going to have to go that way. It doesn't matter if those roses are coming down, everything else is going up. Okay, we've now hit probably about half an hour. Decoration. I'm, I'm 